In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to stop the split close in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on my YouTube channel. All right, guys, so what we're talking about today is a split close pass specific defense. This is a formation specific defense, and this is an excerpt from my nickel 335 wide defensive ebook. If you were to ask me what is the best defense in Madden 21, I would tell you first and not even close. We actually did a poll where 80% of you have said that the best defense in this game is nickel 335 wide. And so if you want to learn how I run this defense, it's a very, very in-depth defensive guide that I've written. Um, I've been running this since June of 2020, so almost a year in this defense, and it has been very, very successful for me. Um, it's probably, honestly, I think the best part of my game is my defense, um, simply just because I can really close off a lot of the windows that a lot of people would like to take advantage of. Um, just with simple adjustments and so again if you want to get my defensive guide there's going to be a link available uh, i'm going to put a link in the description for you to check that out that is uh 15 bucks so the deep you get the whole defense everything all the blitzes all the run defenses all the formational defenses all of the user rushes all the glitches from it you get all of that for just 15 dollars. so if you want to pick that up a lot of people have had have picked that up so far this season and they've been having a lot of success with that so anyways let's dive into the split close pads and the way that we're going to uh, start with this is we're actually going to grab a couple of plays uh, we're going to grab the hb wheel we're going to grab the um, i believe it's the the x drag trail and then we've got the wide receiver corners and obviously the pa shot play um, so we've got all, all the plays we really need here. The split close a very good uh, little formation, but we're going to be talking to you about how to shut it down. So uh, in our coaching adjustments, we're going to put our flats on 30. Our curl flats are going to be on 10 yards, and our hook curls are going to be on 5. Option defense is going to be on conservative, and our ball and air defense is going to be to play ball. Now, what we want to do is we want to make sure that in our audibles we have the cover four show two from the nickel three three five wide. As you can see, it's it's base it's it looks like a cover four drop, um, but it's actually a cover um, it's actually like a cover four quarters style of principle. That's kind of the principles that were based out of it. So it's going to be essentially a match defense. And so um, we've added zone drops to a match defense. And so out of cover four quarters specifically, when you do that, um, you can create some very unique little coverage schemes. So what we're going to do is basically to wherever, whichever side is the wide side of the field uh, is typically where we're going to shift away from because oftentimes our slot corner is going to be on the, we want our slot corner on the wide side of the field. And then what we want to do is we simply want to shift our defensive line um, to the left, which will typically be the side of the running back. So if the, if the formation was flipped, then we would have the run and, and the running back was over there, we would shift them to the left. So we just want to or shift them to the right. So the point being, we just want to shift our defensive line to the same side that the running back is on. From there, what we're going to do is we're simply going to, uh, what I like to do from this is I actually like to kind of run, um, not sure how to quite explain it, but basically what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and we are going to uh, put both of our uh, both of our outside corners in cloud flats. As you can see right here, they're both in cloud flats. From that point, what we're going to do is we are going to take our right of screen linebacker. Okay, so in this example, it's going to be Redmond, and we are going to man him up on the circle receiver because he's the only receiver from this formation, I believe. Let me double check and make sure that I'm not wrong. Um, um, if you take a look at where we can motion this tight end, okay, so I am wrong. Um, but really the primary person they're gonna go to is that circle receiver. Now, if, for example, let's say that we were on the right hash, like let's say this was flipped, okay? So let's say this was flipped. We would not necessarily wanna flip, um, as you can see here, the running back is, you know, a, you know. now you would basically shift them to the right, as you can see. Uh, what we would want to do in this situation is we would want to flip it. So as you can see here, this is kind of the, so we have that numbers advantage. But what's going to happen is, let's say, for example, they start to notice, oh, he's running a lot of, um, he's running a lot of, you know, cover two. I'm going to take, you know, square, and I'm going to take circle, and I'm going to streak them. If they motion, whoever they motion over, that's who you have manned up. 
But as you'll see right here, see, he can only go that far. He can't go all the way to the sideline, okay? The only player that can go all the way to the sideline is the X player. And so what I like to do in that situation is let's say that they motion out, let's say they motion over to the X receiver. Then I'm just going to quickly man him up on the slot. So the circle receiver is who that linebacker is going to be manned up on. And what you're going to see is if they run him vertical, you're going to have very good coverage. And as you can see, I mean, you've taken everything away. Very, very nice coverage over the middle of the field. And that three rec actually does match on uh, really, really well. So it's a very, very nice little coverage defense. I'm going to show it to you one more time and kind of, again, talk through a little bit of the adjustments. So... Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to ogle down to cover four, show two, shift our defensive line to the left, crash them out, and then we're going to kind of stand right in here with our user. That's going to allow us to shoot most of the runs that they're going to do. And then we're going to man up our blitzing linebacker on the outside receiver, as you can see right here. Um, if they were to motion the tight end, then we would quickly man him up onto the square receiver. That's kind of how we would do that. Both of our corners are going to go into cloud flats, and then our left of screen our, um, the defensive end that is on the outside of the three, he is going to be going um, into a three wreck or a bluff blitz. So if you bluff blitz him, he's going to go into a three wreck. And then you're just simply pass committing from that point. And, I mean, you'll just be amazed at how well this defense is going to play. Your responsibility is primarily going to be over here. But if you take a look at what we're able to do, we're able to really shut down a lot of the popular throwing windows from this offensive scheme. And this is just one little piece of it. Another thing that you could do if you wanted to, let's say that you wanted to really kind of amp up the pressure a little bit, then what you could do is you could globally blitz all of your linebackers straight down. As you see, it's going to create a five-man pressure. And then what we're going to simply do is instead of having anyone deep over the left side, we're going to have a Mabel coverage over there. And basically what that's going to kind of boil down to is we're going to have, you know, I still have our Mabel coverage. We have that one deep zone on the left side. And then if there's anything that runs vertical, we're going to it. But as you can see, the pressure screams in off the left edge. You're able to get really, really fast pressure. And from close, whenever you blitz compression sets, it's typically going to work out really well for you because it's very hard to beat the blitz from a compression set. So as you can see, those are two different defenses, but they will be very, very effective in shutting down the split close pass. Now, if you enjoyed this video or if you enjoyed this defense, what I want to encourage you to consider is if you have not gotten the full defensive ebook, the full defensive ebook, like I said, is just $15. It walks you through step by step how to use the nickel 335 and 335 wide to perfection. It actually has uh, over one hour and a half video on match defense in there, uh, as well as several other videos that will help you kind of understand the defense. It shows you how to stop the run, how to stop the pass, it shows you how to blitz, how to play coverage. It shows you how to do everything that you need to be able to do defensively from one formation. It is the best defense in the game, and I want to encourage you, if you have not gotten it yet, there's going to be a link in the description for you to be able to go get it for just $15. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoy the video, and if you have any questions, just text me. My number is 208-218-6900.